Chiki, it's your boy Fist in his house, bringing another great edition of Call of Duty for me, dude, because that's what I do. Call Loon 9v9, Ground War Domination, Famas Dual Mags, Sleight of Hand, Tactical Mask, Flak Jacket, Jammer, Smoke, Frag Grenade, Revolver as my secondary. Let's get it on. So, anyways, the reason why I was playing this Call of Duty uh, Black Ops Treyarch game is to understand and get back into the mindset of their interpretation rendition of the Call of Duty series now while I was doing this a couple commentators came into my mind while I was playing the game my long-term memory brought up some of the things that you know um, one you know for El Presador and Fear Crads that I wanted to point out you know they made points about it and I'm thinking to myself you know one I agree with one I disagree with you know as far as their points now, Oppressador had said, and this is the reason why I'm using the FAMAS, and you'll understand this down the road, is that uh, I really didn't get it until, like, sometimes you got to leave and come back. You know, you understand that? Like, you got to leave a relationship, and you got to come back. You got to leave your job, and you got to come back. Sometimes people take a week off from sports, and they come back, and they just, you know, they get a different outlook of what's going on. So, when I came back, I these things popped in my head I'm like oh you know now I understand oppressor says like gun wavering what the hell was that I mean, I didn't I didn't really comprehend that and then it just like came to me like I was using other weapons and that's why I was forced into uh, no parody from us gameplay and that is you know I was using the AK I was using the um, the Galil and and the thing is a lot of times in these uh, ground war games and I don't know if it happens 6v6 but online, you're shooting at somebody, and you're aiming straight at their head or at their body, and then the gun just dies, just go to the right. Not the FAMAS, but the other guns. Just want to go to the right for some reason. They just go that way. And the funny thing is, sometimes you get a, a response. You do, you know, when you're shooting somebody, you either hear thud or smoke. You see something. You don't even see that when you're shooting somebody with other weapons. The gun just takes off. And you're like, what the hell? What the hell is that? So, you know... Uh, you know, I'm playing the game and the thing is is like you're shooting somebody multiple times and they're not dying it's a modern military shooter you're shooting 7.62 millimeter whatever you're shooting at them they should die that's that's it's a combat game if I wanted to play Halo I play Halo with the with the super suit and I get hit a couple times it goes down I turn around and shoot you you know, brought me up to the thing what Fear Crash was saying. He went up to GamesCon. He played Black Ops 2. I haven't played Black Ops 2. And neither has anybody else played Black Ops 2 on the internet. Neither has anybody else played Black Ops 2 on the internet with net casting and uh, COD casting. And for someone to find out, you know, if your connection's good enough to play. Nobody has. So his, his commentary was basically saying that how... Modern Warfare 3, you didn't like the fact that, you know, whoever sees who sh first shoots and they die. Well, thank God that that happens, you know, because when Black Ops 2 comes out, you know, the Xbox is going to have to, if somebody's doing COD casting, has to see if that person has the connection. And then what happens is, uh, you know, you have to deal with the internet net code. It hasn't been tested. It has not even been tested in LAN. Well, it had, but it hasn't been tested on the net millions of people never been done before then you have lag compensation then you have this philosophy in the interpretation of black ops that like if I shoot you uh, three or four times you shouldn't die and the guy should be able to turn around even though I have position I, I got the jump on you you know the only thing that I can think of that what fear creds is referring to is the fact that you know hey somebody's camping in the corner and they shoot me in back I could turn around and kill him yeah sure I can understand that that makes sense but if he's talking about you know one-on-one -on -one gun battles you know um, I disagree with that point because if I get the first shot off you should die period that's the way it works it's a military shooter that's my opinion you know if he wants to you know I don't see it that way because to be honest with you all I see is a lot of tweaking coming up when Black Ops 2 comes out. You know, I think that what they're doing is a great innovation. But the point is, is that you got cameras coming out, 
uh, the Xbox has to check for the connection of that person. How many people want to do that in ground war? Nine cameras going? Then let me ask you this question. So, the person with the best connection is not going to be host. He has the camera. But then all of a sudden, his little sister and brother gets on the internet, Facebook, Twitter. Then it totally goes down. What does it do? Drop the signal of him podcasting? And then everybody else suffers? I really don't know what's going to happen. And then with the fact that you got all this, you know, uh, happening, you know, if that's if that's going to happen in, in Black Ops, any indication of, of, you know, I'm not talking about the gameplay. I'm talking about the net code. I'm talking about how, you know, when you're shooting at somebody and they're not dying and that's going on, how is that, and how is that going to be translated into Black Ops 2? You know, is it going to become to where you don't have any parity in the game and then it's all going to be funneled down because of people using, you know, because of, for one, the fact that it takes a lot of bullets to kill somebody. Then secondly, you have the podcasting and the video and all the other shit going on that you're going to be forced down to playing with the FAMAS type weapon or whatever that weapon may be. Is that what's going to happen? I'd rather have it to where, you know, um, because of the so much shit going on the internet that, yeah, whoever sees who first shoots, at least you know that might not even, you might know that you kill that person. Because you really don't know the true, you really know, you're not going to know the true actualization of the weapons because of all the other shit that's in this game that they're, they're trying to push they're trying to cram in so much social shit it's crazy I just want a game I want to keep it simple so anyways going on my last point you know you know Chris Mood brought up this point you're paying fifty dollars even though it's ten dollars less for all the maps for COD Elite not including the game and then they bring out this other stuff that I predicted that nobody said I was lying about whatever I proved you wrong. Quad rotor, drop pair cabbage, 150, blah, blah, blah. Xmas upsell headphones. They're just selling out left and right. So, anyways, going back to my other point. You know, uh, Chris Smooth made a very important point. You're paying $50, even though it's $10 less, it still would be $20 left, less for me because I don't want co op and all the other zombie modes and everything else. I don't want that. I just want multiplayer maps. And they don't release multiplayer maps every month. They release two, three packs. You pay $15 a piece. That's $45 or whatever. Maybe less. You're not even getting that now. So, um, you see right here, the game just died. That's your elite for you. Listen, I'm giving you extra money and so is everybody else. At least put your money where your mouth's at. Have the, everything working. You know, at least do that for us. There's only one great thing about Black Ops 2. And that is, there's no more death streaks. Thank God for that. I got tired again. Anyways, until next time, hope you enjoyed the video. It's your boy Fizz. Peace. I'm out.